Hello and welcome to today's session about lymphatic yoga. We're going to learn about the benefits for your life and lymph. My name is Babs. So just a quick disclaimer, disclosure for this presentation is to always just to listen to your body. So I want that to be our intention throughout this presentation and throughout the lymphatic yoga videos that you practice with me and really throughout your experience while living with lymphedema. So I like to say that it is important to listen to the whispers so that you do not have to hear the screams. So listen to those subtle cues, those subtle messages that come in so that you don't overwhelm your body and end up having to hear the screams. So a little bit about me. My name is Babs. I'm an occupational therapist, a lymphedema therapist, and a yoga teacher. And I currently live in Boston, Mass. And I work at Brigham and Women's Faulkner Hospital as a lymphedema therapist there. And I also host six-week yoga wellness programs for individuals at risk and those who have been diagnosed with lymphedema. So I would love to get to know all of you. So after you watch this presentation, please send me a DM on Instagram or Facebook or email me at balancewithbabs at gmail.com just to know that you're with me. And I'd love to help you, support you, and guide you. So please just shoot me a little message just to say hi because I always love to meet new people and especially people who have lymphedema. So I, the re big reason why I love to meet new people is that I find that shared experience is a necessary ingredient in empathy. So this is a quote that I love. It's from The Unseen Body by Jonathan Reisman. And this right here is my mom, Tina. She is a breast cancer survivor and has left upper extremity lymphedema. And I find that through learning from my patients, learning from her, the more that we can collaborate, the more that we connect as human beings, the more that we share stories, we share what has gone wrong, what has gone right. We really find healing within each story and with each um, experience we share with one another. So this is just a quote I want to include in here that she said in one of our blogs we have on my website, balancewithbabs.com. She said, Babs not only treated my lymphedema, but she helped me with my whole body's health. I now understand what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Today, my arm is under control and I'm managing my lymphedema through many ways. And now lymphatic yoga is in my weekly routine. So, when I became a lymphedema therapist, I came home very eager <laughs> to help my mom. So we went through complete decongestive therapy with manual lymph drainage, compression bandaging with short stretch bandages. We went through the whole nine yards. And then after we got her arm to be decongested and in a good spot, we then engaged in all of these practices you see here. So aquatic therapy, pool therapy, manual lymph drainage on herself. And I would also do it on her. She's now rebounding a couple of times a week. She has day and night garments. She does dry brushing. And last but not least, she participates in lymphatic yoga. So what will we learn today in this module? We're gonna learn about lymphatic yoga. I'm gonna define it and understand the benefits. We're gonna talk about what the research says about yoga and lymphedema. And then in this module, you're gonna have a couple different yoga practices, a seated practice, and also a floor practice that you can do. And I also have many other videos on my YouTube channel, Balance with Babs, and I host live classes every Monday night and six-week wellness programs. So many opportunities for you to explore and understand lymphatic yoga and see the benefits for yourself. So what is lymphatic yoga? This is a definition that I've created. Lymphatic yoga is a mindful movement practice to encourage lymphatic health through guided self-MLD, which is manual lymph drainage, emphasis on breath work, awareness of the lymph pathways, and the use of muscle pumps to assist lymph flow to restore mind and body balance. So how does the lymph fluid move? That's the number one question because we want to talk about the different ways that we ourselves can improve our lymphatic health through the different components of lymphatic yoga. So the four components are our breathing, our manual lymph drainage, 
our muscle pump activation and mindfulness. So the first is breathing. So oftentimes I tell my patients or I go back to a time where I was in my first yoga class and after class I came out and the teacher was kind of standing there and she came up to me and she said, you don't breathe right. And I was like, I don't, what do you mean? I don't breathe right. And she was like, you breathe from your chest. It was, it was a Bikram style yoga. So it was a very like um, strict type of yoga that does these postures over and over again. And so I was like, we don't know. I don't breathe right. And then I was thinking about it and I was like, have I ever really ever breathed right? Or did I ever even be taught how to breathe? And I think the answer is no. I think we're just taught that it's an automatic thing that happens and that we don't really have to pay attention to it. But the more that I practice yoga, the more that I engage in my education of becoming an occupational therapist, a limited demon therapist and yoga teacher, I found that breath is truly key. So while we're just sitting here, I want us to try a little bit of a technique that we always start with at the beginning of our lymphatic yoga practice. And that is learning how to breathe. So we're going to place our hands right over our stomach. And as you inhale, you're gonna allow the abdomen to protrude outward. And then as you exhale, slowly blow the air out as the belly comes back in towards the spine. This next few times we take a breath, I want you to slowly breathe in as you apply a little bit of pressure and then slowly breathe out to relax. So this belly breathing is called diaphragmatic breathing. So as you're breathing, the diaphragm is going up and down, which massages this major thoracic duct that comes up the center of our body that stimulates lymph flow and activates the lymphatic vessels and lymph nodes in this area. So even if you're just sitting in the car, hanging out, Breathe, do some deep belly breathing. Imagine your belly as a balloon expanding and then relaxing. It's really, the best way to begin this practice is to lie down and do it too, because then you can really feel the belly expanding away from the earth. So this is the first component of our practice. The second is self-manual lymph drainage. So prior to us engaging in a lymphatic yoga practice, we want to wake up the large areas of lymph nodes in the body. So we do our breathing to stimulate the thoracic duct, the abdominal lymph nodes, and then we do a portion of lymph drainage to stimulate the chest, the neck, the shoulders, and the armpit, because all of that lymph fluid in the body is circulating and then entering back into the bloodstream via these ducts right here behind the collarbones, the clavicles. So if we can clear the lymph nodes above and below the clavicle, if we can clear the neck and all this area, then that fluid has a way easier pathway towards the heart. So I like to think of it as little cars coming up the arm. So if you imagine that there's a, this line of cars, so picture, really use your imagination here. There's little cars, one after the other, after the other, all the way up the arm. If we want this little car to come all the way back here or, or return all the way up to here, we have to move all of these cars first. So that's why your therapist, or maybe you've seen online, or maybe you watch some of my videos, that we always start with this drainage here. And then in a lymph drainage massage, you start approximately, you start the shoulder, and then you move up through the bicep, and then the forearm, and then the hand. Because if you try to push those cars, try to get that fluid right here to move up the arm, you're only gonna push these cars and cause this big car crash right here. So you really have to think about draining proximally before you move the fluid from a distal extremity. The third component is movement. So muscle pump activation is everything. So the lymphatic system does not have a natural pump like the cardiovascular system has the heart. So the cardiovascular system has this major heart that pumps the blood throughout the body. The lymph system doesn't have one major organ that does that. So it totally relies on our own muscle pump activation to move the fluid throughout the body. So we first start by breathing. We do MLD on our chest. 
And then we say, okay, now that we're all good here, now we get some movement, some stretching, some openness in the body to encourage the skin to stretch. And with that skin stretching, that's where the valves open and the lymph fluid moves through. So we're gonna skip trying it this moment because you're gonna have lots of videos in this module. And we're gonna go right to the fourth component. This is the fourth component, but definitely not the least important. I would almost say that this is pretty much the most important component of our practice and of living with lymphedema. So I like to say in order to heal, we must feel. So when I say the word heal, I don't necessarily mean completely rid yourself of lymphedema because all of you know that lymphedema is a chronic condition. It's something that once your lymphatic system is impaired, it is always impaired, but we can manage it. And we can also change and restore our mindset about our limbs, about our affected areas. So if we can increase this relationship you have with your mind and body, you're able to then understand where that excess stored fluid is, and then you're able to better listen and respond. And the breathing, the mindfulness, the meditation all allows the body to relax, which taps into our parasympathetic nervous system. And in this nervous system, this is the point where you achieve rest and digest, and that's where the healing occurs. You relax, everything releases, and you're able to really reconnect and reset your mind about this diagnosis. And also, I just want to mention that chronic condition does not mean loss of control. Chronic condition means that it's there, but you are able to manage it through these different techniques. And the more that you open your mind to yoga, open your mind to the practices of yoga and meditation, the more that you can go deeper into yourself and initiate your own self-healing. So what are the benefits? There are so many. I could have gone on and on about this slide, but the major ones I want to focus on is that physically the lymphatic yoga flows improve strength, mobility, and stability. And mentally, this promotes clarity, relaxation, and wholeness. And again, this creation of this mind-body balance creates a improved quality of life. So the takeaways. So breath work, lymph massage, movement, and mindfulness improve lymph flow to benefit your life and your lymph. So now let's get into what the research says. So I found this really interesting article. It's a systematic review, and the title is Managing Lymphedema, Increasing Range of Motion and Quality of Life Through Yoga Therapy Amongst Breast Cancer Survivors. So this article reviewed 208 studies, and it focused on the top seven studies. And the participants were 18 years and older. The mean range of age was 52 to 65 years old. They were all breast cancer survivors, and they were either diagnosed or at risk for lymphedema. And the yoga programs ranged between eight weeks to one year and eight to 44 yoga sessions. And the yoga practice length was between 40 and 90 minutes. There was all different types of yoga, so not just one strict vinyasa flow. It was all different components. And then four out of the seven studies had a home practice. So what did they measure? They measured quality of life, pain, range of motion, spinal mobility, and arm volume. So who can think of in their own life, think of which of these have you been affected? Has your quality of life been affected? Do you experience pain? Has your range of motion been limited? Has your spinal or your trunk rotation been limited? And your arm volume. And then they used all of these different tools to determine the outcomes. And the results they found was that, this is a quote here from the article, targeted yoga intervention programs have been proven to improve the overall quality of sleep, daytime functioning, fatigue-related symptoms, blood cortisol level, post-chemo-induced nausea, muscle soreness, and lowered overall physical discomfort and reduced anxiety and depression. So another takeaway slide 
is that this study or the systematic review of the studies show that yoga is proven to improve quality of life for individuals with lymphedema. But I do want to make one clarification here is that they were studying yoga. They weren't studying lymphatic yoga. So I would love to engage in a research study. If anyone's watching this and is interested, please email me or connect with me because I strongly believe that if we studied lymphatic yoga with the four different components that we've discussed today, the breathing, MLD, muscle pump, and mindfulness, I think we'd find even more of a success rate. Um, I see it every day with my participants, my patients, and my programs, but we, and I strongly believe that lymphatic yoga practice is a key complementary option for you to manage and live successfully with lymphedema. So this is a reference of the article and all the paintings in this presentation were by my friend Maddie. And that's her there watching me on YouTube. And this is a handout that we'll provide in this module to just going over the key parts of this program and this um, presentation. And then this is my lymphatic yoga flyer for my six week yoga wellness program. So this is everything we learn in that program. So if you'd like to be involved with that, please again, reach out to me and I would love to assist you. And I also do have a scholarship program too, if you can't afford. So thank you so much. I hope that you enjoyed this presentation. I hope it gave you a little bit of a taste of what lymphatic yoga is. And I hope that you enjoy the lymphatic practices in this module. Here's my website, my YouTube channel, and my email. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.